Join here from dragwatt.com if you like the video. And today in this new lesson, we'll be learning how to draw a swan in very simple and easy steps. Be sure to grab the link in the video description to get the full step-by-step -step drawing tutorial at dragwatt.com. And don't forget to get yourself a pencil, paper, and eraser to prepare for this tutorial. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for upcoming. Thanks for viewing. Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to draw a swan in very easy and simple steps. Make sure you have a few references at different types of angles and views on swans just to help you with what kind of pose you're drawing a swan in. In this case, we'll be drawing a swan from the side view. Get a standard quality pencil and eraser for this tutorial to make things a lot easier. Here I have my guidelines that help guide my proportioning and symmetry of the important details to the swan. I'm going to fade out my guide so I can draw the future lines more prominent, like this, just like that. Notice how I have a small circle in place for the head with an S-shaped curve for the neck, as well as a larger oval for the base of the body. And there's not much detail we're going to be drawing on this one. And this is my first step. I make step two, and this is going to be on the shape of the head. And swans have large, bubbly heads that bulge at the tip, and they get smaller as soon as they get to the beak, like this. I'm going to be doing small perk for the beak, just like that. And it's curved inwards, and then it moves out into a smaller curve, and then it goes straight up, and it stops right where you see this edge for the head, just like that. Make step three, and this is going to be on the finishing off of the face shape of the head. And this is going to be finishing the beak. And a large marking for the nose, the beak nose. Step four, and this is going to be markings for the eyes. And swans have large markings that depends on what kind of swan you're drawing. Swans have different types of markings that cover the third of the face. And it usually covers in black the entire eye. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the end of the eye with the blue eye white to show that it's an eye and not just part of the black marking like that. And if you want, you can go ahead and fill in this black marking like this. With a black marker or a black colored pencil, whatever kind of tool you're using to draw right now. Just like that. Alright, step five, and this is going to be on the long neck that we're going to be drawing. And it's good to keep the neck a certain size that doesn't make it look too comedic. So we don't draw a, a parody of a swan, and we're drawing just a realistic looking swan, which is what we want. So I'm drawing the neck, and it's a very long S-shape curve that flows with the guideline we drew previously and it connects to the head. The head is the largest bulge of the whole neck part. And then the neck just gets thinner. Pretty easy. But make sure the width of this neck isn't misshapen when you draw the entire neck from the head halfway until you get to the base of the body. I'll make step six, and this is going to be on the body now. And I'm just drawing simple bulges for the feathers. I'm going to go ahead and add some detailing for the feathers, like this. And small hints of feathers to give this one a nice look. Step 7, and this is going to finish off the frame of the body. And right now this is just the entire wing. This whole part right here is the entire wing. I'm going to go ahead and draw the tail feathers now. Just like this. And the lower end. And in this case, you won't see its legs just because it's in the water. Alright, so that's uh, step seven. Make step eight, and this is the last step, and this is going to be extra detailing for the feathers. And we're using brief strokes for the indication of feather. And this is the entire wing. And this part is the tail feather. Alright, for my guidelines, and I have myself a pretty decent looking swan. 
clean up your lines, erase your guidelines, and you should have the same result. With a lot of practice, you can go a long way. Be sure to check out Dragon Official, the official YouTube channel for the latest drawing videos, high quality class, and dragonwatt.com for the latest drawing tutorials. The best, and it's updated daily. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and stay tuned for more. Have fun.